Hey everyone, Rob Wiseguy82 here. Doing another uh, late night ghost hunting video. Um, read a few books today. I read, uh, and I, I just did a, a video a little while ago um, and did a little review for um, uh, the new comic from uh, the new image comic Versus. I don't think that was the most eloquent review, so I'm going to do it again, and I just read uh, uh, the next volume of Jazz Maynard, uh, and that was freaking phenomenal, so I'm going to show you guys, uh, I'm going to finish my little walk around, or our, uh, our little uh, late night ghost hunting, and then I'll flip through the book with you guys, and, and it was just... Man, that book is so freaking good. You guys need to go out and grab that hardcover if you can of the first volume. It's fantastic. It's uh, You should be able to get it for like $13, $14 on in-stock trades. Because um, it's only $19.99 uh, originally. And, uh, and you'll get a nice discount from in-stock trades. I mean, honestly, it would absolutely be worth just paying the 20 bucks for the book because it's it's just phenomenal um, but like I said I just finished this and it uh, it was really really good the writing is fantastic the art is amazing I just it's one of my absolute favorites all right so here we go Let's, uh, let's see what we got. Hope everybody's, well, if you're up, hope you're having a great night. If not, hope you're uh, having sweet dreams. Oh, I forgot to erase some of my videos, so I only have a few more minutes to do this. So, let, whoop, so let's see. All right. So this is Jazz Maynard, Volume 2, Issue 1. Uh, this is Hopeless, Part 1. And uh, my favorite part is... Freaking... I mean, look at... When you hold it like this, it doesn't really go anywhere. If, uh, if this was like a Marvel or DC, the, the bottom of the book would be down here. Um, and this is just fantastic. It's definitely oversized. The artwork is incredible. But, uh, and if anybody, this was cool. Not really sure what that is, but if old school uh, Nerf, I thought that was kind of neat. But the writing in this is just top notch. Um, story by Raul. Let's see. And illustrations by Roger. I'm gonna try to get their full names though. No, nah, anywhere I'm looking, it just says Raul and Rogers, or Roger. All right. Well, anyway, so previously on Jazz Maynard. The city of Barcelona imploded in the wake of, excuse me, the city of Barcelona imploded in the wake of corruption revealed at the highest levels of authority, and the rebuilding has begun. The inner streets of the El Raval district continue to scrape by on guts and attitude, unsure who to fear now that their protective godfather, Judas Melchiat, is behind bars. The immediate future is unclear, but the smart ones are those who take things day by day, and Jazz Maynard is proving a perfect example of that tactic, even as now, as, even as new dark clouds gather on the horizon. And the artwork is just fantastic. I love the music, the, the, the influence of music that they have here, and the artwork is just 
phenomenal. And I want to read a little bit of this with you guys. So there's Jazz Maynard. He's a uh, musical prodigy. Uh, yeah, just all around from uh, a master thief to the trumpet to, yeah, just phenomenal. So as soon as the, and this is my favorite part, is just the writing. I love it. As soon as his lips touch the trumpet, the room goes silent. There's no audience, no band, just him and the instrument. From the first few notes of My Ideal, Jazz Maynard makes the audience believe that Chet Baker is alive and on, the very, and on that very stage. But Baker wasn't a virtuoso like Maynard. Maynard's playing is masterfully discreet, restrained, light, subtle, faithful to the Oklahoma legend like a master forger or a priceless like a master forger of a priceless original the mood sets in slowly the notes grow more powerful reaching new heights the attitude the excuse me the audience is entranced but just when the music reaches peak intensity silence only to start all over again, soft notes floating through the air, barely audible but entirely captivating. Even as an instrument, even as an instrumental cover, it's easy to imagine Baker standing at his side, singing along with the velvety voice, eyes closed. Maybe she's a dream, and yet she might be just around the corner waiting for me. Nobody dares make a sound, they're too blown away to risk disrupting the magic of the melody. But Maynard throws them but Maynard throws them a curve, an unexpected, slowly drawn note at the end of every verse, the charm of imperfection. The music ends and the magic leaves the room. I thought that was pretty awesome. Then we uh, I think we meet a new character. A lot of people vying for control. Uh, our new... I'm pretty sure that these are new characters. At least this guy, her dad. Uh, but then we meet Caligula. He's an up-and-coming uh, crime lord. We get... Uh, yeah, there's a little bit of him right here. So basically he's taking out one of the guys from uh, Volume 1. Uh... So the, they mentioned earlier Judas, who is Jazz's childhood friend. He was the the, the criminal. Uh, at, he was the bad guy for the first volume. So this Caligula right here is just taking out one of his guys. Quick little shot of that. Um, I forgot his name. Shit. Oh, I think somebody's coming down. Hold on. Yeah, so there's him meeting Caligula. This is his. Uh, this is Jazz's uh, best friend, whose name is escaping me right now. But he's uh, he has gotten himself into some trouble again with Caligula. And then we're back. Uh, a little conversation with Jazz. And then we get. I don't want to do it. I don't want to give it all away. Uh, get a nice little conversation with, uh, there's Judas, so he's still playing a part of the story. But then we get an awesome, so it says Al Raval, the 70s. We get a great uh, backstory of Caligula, and that was really, really cool. Um, there's the uh, cover for the, next, for the next issue, and we'll uh, continue in 30 days. So this is just, it was a great lead-in. There wasn't a lot of action that happened in this one. There was a little bit. Um, but we got more backstory. We've got future conflict. And an awesome.